Hi everyone. Today we are going to cover our new analytics near real-time detections, or as we call them, the NRT detection. The goal for the NRT detections is to allow customers to detect and respond to a closed set of security scenarios. In order to demonstrate this feature, we will use an example that was contributed by one of our private preview participants. In our example, we would like to be notified on any account that gets deleted in our environment. We are sending mock safe data, or actually we are going to send some mock safe data into our Sentinel workspace. It is going to have a unique device vendor name, which will be test 60. We are going to create two rules to compare the regular scheduled rules and the NRT detections. One will be executed every five minutes and we'll look back over the past five minutes. Both will have the same entity mapping, custom details, dynamic content settings. But for, for the NRT detections, we will not need to set any scheduling because the rule is going to get executed every one minute. Both will have a simulation abilities like we used to have before and the query. To kick off the simulation, we'll start by sending the mock data. So we are going to log in into the generator VM. And we're going to send some messages to the collector. Let's see if we're getting the data. The TCP on the port. As you can see, we started receiving the data into the VM. That means that if we'll go into the log screen and let's do common security log take 10, we'll see that we are receiving some entries. Okay. Uh, and if we'll go to the incident page after a while, after about one minute, we are going to start receiving some incidents. So let's wait for a few seconds. While we are waiting, let's understand what, what is happening right now. The NRD detection is go are going to be executed every one, win one minute, looking back over the past one minute. And unlike the regular uh, detections that we are having, they are going to ignore the time generated. So if we will create some delay in the pipeline, that will be ignored. So that's a great feature because customers can now only think about um, the, the the ingestion time of the entries and not uh, look on the time generated at all. So that gives a lot of capability to do that uh, detection on an ingestion time. And they're going to have uh, almost a full parity with the capabilities that we are currently offering with the schedule rules. Um, we are not going to offer event grouping at the moment, but besides that, they're going to have all the entity mapping capabilities, all the dynamic content abilities, the custom details. So all of them will be available uh, in the uh, for the NRT detections. Let's go back to the rules and make sure that the both are enabled. Yes. We'll wait a few more seconds for our entities to arrive. Let's take a look and see. We are getting the alerts created. So we should be getting incidents at a minute. Even send some more data while we are waiting. There we go. And now we can see that we already got the NRT detection. Um, it will take us up to an additional five minutes to get 
the scheduled one because each schedule rule is going to be executed every five minutes and it's going to be delayed by five minutes. That's a, that's a built-in delay that we are having. Okay, um, so that opens a variety of use cases to, to our customers uh, and we are getting great feedbacks uh, from our private preview. Uh, and if you have any additional questions, feel free to ask. Thank you all.